It's called an emerald tutu, and it's exactly that. It's a band of green space around Boston that will protect the city from rising sea levels. Just last week, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued a report showing Boston could see up to 18 days of high tide flooding next year and predicted that trend would grow. Boston has already gotten a taste of the future as rising seas flood busy streets and landmarks on a more regular basis. What's happening is Boston used to be marshland. A lot of it is filled. Marshes act like nature's sponge, absorbing rising tides and softening the blow of powerful waves. Replacing those areas with the hard built up surfaces you find in an urban setting has the opposite effect. That gave Julia Hopkins and a team of scientists at Northeastern University an idea to recreate the effect that a marsh has. They call it the Emerald Tutu. It's a coastal resilience tool. It's a called a nature-based solution, which means that it is an engineered infrastructure that uses a lot of natural elements to protect the shoreline from flooding, specifically from storms. This is what the Emerald Tutu would look like around East Boston, one of the neighborhoods most endangered by rising sea levels. Scientists are now testing prototypes seven foot discs that have plants on the top and seaweed on the bottom. They link the discs together and place them just off threatened coastal areas. Meant to sort of surround Boston like a tutu. As incoming waves hit the tutu, their force is absorbed and diminished. Hopkins says a big advantage of this approach is flexibility. The tutu in particular is modular, which means over time, as conditions change, as climate change intensifies, you can change the tutu to match whatever the weather conditions are that you're experiencing. Boston has already seen nine inches of sea level rise since 1950, and the future is ominous. Even with aggressive carbon cuts, the updated estimates bring another foot of water on top of that by 2050. The Emerald Tutu earned a research grant from the National Science Foundation. It's also inspiring young scientists who want to be part of a solution to climate change. It's exciting to not just have this looming dread of what's to come, but to be working on something that's gonna be a potential solution. The energy of a wave resonates throughout the entire network. Hopkins and hopes the first of its kind approach can be replicated in lots of coastal cities. We're meant for an urbanized coastal environment, and certainly that means all of Boston. I'm a New Yorker by training, so that means a, hopefully a lot of New York City too. All right, so you might be wondering how they chose the name. Emerald Tutu is a play on the Emerald Necklace, which is the chain of parks that goes from the Esplanade down through the Arboretum and ends at Franklin Park. And they hope this will become another iconic landmark showing how Boston develops an outdoor resource.